Hi, John Cuba again, talking to you about my book, my book, No Quit in Me, My Wild Ride with Tongue Cancer. And I want to talk to you about a little bit about tongue cancer, which is that oral cancer or oral pharyngeal cancer and fits into a category called neck and head and neck cancer. And head and neck cancers tend to be a an HPV or human papilloma virus caused cancer. And HPV is sexually transmitted, which is one of the things that makes this this uh, cancer more prevalent now than it used to be. Time was people that got head and neck cancer were uh, heavy smokers, heavy drinkers, who just wore their bodies down and cancer took over and most of those people died an early death from, each, from, from tongue cancer. Now, the type of cancer that is found in the head and neck tends to be from a virus, HPV, human papilloma virus, which is, like I said, sexually transmitted, and it is what is causing people like myself to pay the price for that sexual revolution that happened in the 60s. Sex, the sexual revolution changed our attitude towards sex. We have more partners now. We have more oral sex. And oral sex is how the HPV virus is transmitted. Now, there's 120. I've heard 200. And I've heard 120. So there's a lot of HPV viruses. Maybe 10 to 15 of them are potentially uh, cancer-causing. But... HPV does cause cancer, or those strains will cause cancer, and you may have it in your system. Hey, who's to say you weren't fooling around when you're in your 20s, uh, 15 or or 20 or 30 years ago? So, you're a potential cancer victim, but you won't necessarily get it, even if you have the HPV virus, not everybody gets it. We don't know what triggers it, but what we do know is that when the HPV virus triggers a cancer, for women, it's often often cervical cancer. I think it's about 35% of, of cervical, of HPV cancers are cervical. And there's 35 or 40% are head and neck cancers, and most of them tend to be in men. Because men get it in the head and neck, women get it in the cervix, which doesn't mean that women can't get head and neck but 80% of head and neck cancers are from women. And there's not that much that can be done about it. You're gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. When you get it, it's devastating. And then you should read my book, of course. And I'm happy to have been the guy that took the hit for the rest of you boomers that maybe won't get HPV cancer for fooling around as a result of the sexual revolution. I'm happy for the sexual revolution. I wouldn't have done without it. But there is something that we, that we as a society can do to prevent more people from getting HPV cancers. And the world is doing that now, and that's immunizing um, children, particularly children uh, before, I think it's before 15 years of age, and preferably younger, although you can also immunize older people as well. Uh, And even though we know immunization absolutely works, only six out of 10 girls in North America are immunized, and even fewer boys, more like four out of 10, are immunized. So those who don't are, will potentially fall prey to what's outlined in this book, And those who are immunized are free.